So with you as we continue from inside uh, Bruins Arena on the campus of the uh, Salt Lake City Community College neutral court game where the Loyola Chicago Ramblers survived to hang on as they beat the USF Dons 79-74. USF head man Todd Golden uh, alongside coach. Uh, you kind of said that as you sat down, you guys had a chance. You had a chance at the end even though you trailed by nine in the late going. Yeah, no, I thought, you know, overall from a, a total game standpoint, you know, it's uh, about as close as you could have expected. You know, I'm looking at the box scores. Uh, they made seven threes. We made six. They had nine offense rebounds. We had eight. Uh, they had f we had 15 assists, they had 13, T each team had 10 turnovers. It was a very, very equal game, uh, except for the foul line. You know, they made 16 free throws, we only attempted eight. Uh, and our two losses this year, that's been, that's been the issue. You know, both teams that we've competed against have had more opportunities and executed them better from the line. And so when I look at the box score quickly, obviously we didn't shoot the ball great from the perimeter, uh, but we gave ourselves a chance. And in that free throw game, you know, them being plus 12 that way was really the, the big separator. Talk about the, the second half because it felt like in the, the second half of this contest that the Ramblers were a little bit more aggressive. Would you agree, especially maybe like that kind of middle part of the half? Yeah, I mean, they played well. You know, they're, they're hard to guard. <laughs> they're yeah. number one in the country in effective field goal percentage. Uh, I think they do a really good job and uh, uh, of playing off of each other and uh, you know they, they have multiple guys that can hurt you so you got to kind of pick your poison in terms of what you're trying to take away and uh, we guard I thought we guarded the three really well it's what they you know what they do really really well we only gave up seven of them um, and you know generally in their two losses to Auburn and Michigan State they only made seven threes so we did a very good job of, of doing that and, uh, you know, they, they made some better decisions off the pick and roll. I thought, you know, their bigs did a good job finishing in, the, in that point. And then really the only disappointment I have, I thought from the eight-minute mark in the second half till the last media, we got out of sorts a little bit. They went on a little bit of a run. And then we were chasing them in terms of taking some tougher shots offensively and not really uh, hold, making them – hold themselves accountable the way they were guarding us and and i was really proud though for the last four minutes in the media we got back on track like hey it's nine points it's got to be possession by possession we're not going to get it back with hero ball it's five guys play together to the point where we had two chances to tie the game with two really good looks take us through that final sequence as you mentioned two chances to tie the game in the last couple of minutes yeah no i thought we stayed the course really well and got some stops i thought julian had a really good defensive play on schwieger in the under four uh we got a couple of steals and then we picked up on their, you know, having trouble switching when Gabe's at the ball screen. So we got a good three for him that cut it a little bit and uh, got him another good three uh, that he missed. And then, you know, Jamari had a great look on a step back. And that's, you know, that shot's been going down all year for him. We'll take that any day of the week. Uh, again, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're relying upon one shot mm -hmm. going in. Um, but, you know, against a top 20 opponent, you know, it's a... Uh, it's, it, it is what it is. I thought it was a pretty good showing for us. You know, a, a interesting game, obviously, uh, for both teams, short prep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I thought this game looked like two, you know, potentially uh, second weekend NCAA tournament teams. You know, the, your team hasn't been on this side of it much, just the second loss of the year. What was, you know, kind of the mood of the guys after the ball game? And anything that you addressed with them at all? Uh, yeah, they're disappointed. You know, um, this is it's what I love about this group more than anything. They compete incredibly hard, and they, their will to win is uh, – is pretty dang good and so obviously you know they were disappointed about that but our, our deal was you know I, I, I'm not super uh, I'm disappointed but I'm not upset with the way we played I mm -hmm. thought we played pretty well mm -hmm. um, you know to be in this game with this team it was neck and neck for most of the game that's hard to do so it's really now about being able to to move on and prepare for the Toreros on Saturday if we allow this to bleed into our preparation uh, if we allow this to bleed into the way we compete on Saturday, then I'll be really disappointed. You talk about moving on, time to move forward. Tell us about the Toreros. Yeah. Your, your whole West Coast Conference kind of mindset has shifted because you're thinking, man, we're going to open with two tough ones on the road. Both those games have been postponed. Yep. So now you have a, the chance to start with a three-game homestand knock on wood given health. Right. And San Diego will be the first of those three games on Saturday. Yeah, to be honest, uh, I, I've watched them a little bit earlier in the year uh, on nights where we didn't have game but I haven't seen them probably in a month so it's going to be important for for me and uh, coach Plank who has a scout to get together tonight and tomorrow and really just make sure we're organized in, in the way we want to attack them and uh, as we've talked about before league is a different animal you mm -hmm. know it's it's generally uh, condensed from a possession standpoint mm -hmm. uh, you know and every basket counts a lot so it's gonna be really important for us to come out with with great energy and enthusiasm to compete you know and, and what's really important also is now 
but like we talked about in the past, we're, we're being hunted. San Diego is going to come in and be like, man, this is a great opportunity for us, whereas in the past it was just another game. So we're going to have to do everything we can uh, to, to get ready to go, seeing as how they're coming off quite a bit of prep for us. Coach, uh, thanks for the post-game visit. We'll look for better things on the Hilltop on Saturday against those San Diego Toreros. Can't wait to get back out there and compete at 4 o'clock. All right, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, folks. That's a Saturday ball game. Is the